You know a moment when you're listening to music and you find out that you're relating to that music much more than you actually should? That's what I am with Linkin Park. So today's video is going to be talking about how I feel Linkin Park the band relates to me. So this is going to be a little bit of a ride, so let's get started. So I want to say before we get into the reason why I feel like it relates to me, I want to talk about Linkin Park's music for a moment. And I want to say how much I love their music. And I want to say that not only do I love Linkin Park, I just... They're absolutely my favorite band as of right now. I actually have three of their full-blown albums. Uh, Happier Theory, Metroid, and Minutes to Midnight. And I have to say that my two favorite albums from them are Hyper Theory and Metroid. So I have to say that I really love the music. Um, the lyrics are great, the instrumentals are great. I think if anything, it's really interesting how I think of Linkin Park because Linkin Park is like really surprising to listen to, especially when my first experience with Linkin Park was a couple months ago and I just love their music. It's just glorious for me to listen to. It's a moment where I think if anything, other music just doesn't match up against Linkin Park. So I mean, I've got other bands and artists I love, but Linkin Park is just, ah. Uh, but that's kind of just a small bit of what would be today's video, which is going to be me talking about how I feel like Linkin Park relates to me. So this is going to get a little more serious, and I'm sorry if this kind of gets all over the place. I'm going to try my best to explain it, and here we go. So I want to say that one part which I'm going to start off with that I'm going to relate to is my past. Now, I don't want to say that I want to say that I am not going to go too much in my past because I feel like that I don't need to go so much in my past because number one, I don't feel comfortable with explaining. Number two, I just generally just don't want to say it because I just don't want to. So, so I feel like if anything, talking about my past is kind of a case where Linkin Park relates to me the most because there's some things in my past that I wish I've never have done. Um, there's some stuff which I really want to distance myself away. In fact, I want to forget about it at all. And th it's kind of a case where, um, number one, the song Easier to Run, that's really what relates to that. And there's some other songs, I feel like, if anything, that relate. I There's some things where in my personal life, there's moments which don't go quite right, or there's just... There's so much emotions that I feel that I don't want to say or I or I wish I could say and stuff like that, but I can't say it because it's just not, it just isn't going to go the right way or isn't going to go the right way. It's hard for me to really say how Linkin Park really relates to me, but there's a part of me that I know really relates to Linkin Park. And it's just, it feels like that Linkin Park relates to me because of my past and stuff that I've done and it just feels that um, some of the lyrics or some of the lyrics in the songs just feels like it hits really hard sometimes. And I, I try my best to, the, the songs are catchy, of course, but the songs are way deeper to me, I think, if anything. Because if it relates to me, then it's like, then it's like, how can I just simply not? It's a case where I know that the songs aren't related to me, or related, like, they're relatable, that's what I'm saying. Relatable, because it's a case where music always can be relatable in some senses, but but Linkin Park really hits me hard with it, because some things that I've done in my past, some music that I have, like, listened to, some of the music I think of anything is great and stuff like that, but nothing to me hits harder than Linkin Park, because... There's moments in my past where I feel like that there's just been moments in my personal life, present and past, where I think that it really hits and I just, just feel like that it's really hard for me to be able to say that it's hard. Uh, when a song hits you with something that you didn't expect or so something that you've heard before but then you didn't, but then you think about it much deeper then you realize what it means or you think about it as something to your past. It just, it hits. And I, Linkin Park does 
that for me. It hits me hard. And and I look at this from two sides with Linkin Park because number one, there's the side which is my past where I, um, whereas there's been things um, I like, I feel like that there's been things in my past that I have done and I wish that either I never had done them or I wish that if there is, um, that I wish I could think, forget about the things I've done in my past. And I just feel like that Linkin Park really hits me here, there, especially because we all have those moments in our past, which we, we want to forget about something or th things that have happened in our past that we just want to run away from. And it's hard because I, even though I love Linkin Park's music, it's just, there's a bit of me which hits hard with it. And I wish that some things in my past could never happen, that that's in the past. And I, even though in some sense I would love to change the past, I know that it would affect what would happen for the future. For me, I don't want to change the past. And even though sometimes it haunts me, I, I just feel that it doesn't need to be changed because otherwise I wouldn't be where I would be right now. If I could change, I would. Take back the pain, I would. Retrace every wrong move that I made, I would. If I could stand up and take the blame, I would. If I could take all the shame to the grave, I would. If I could change, I would. Take back the pain, I would. Retrace every wrong move that I made, I would. If I could stand up and take the blame, I would. I would take all my shame to the grave. Now there's a second part to this which I'm going to talk about which is basically going to be the future. Now this is going to be um, primarily, this is going to be one part where it's going to focus on, uh, the first part was basically with Metroid, and this part's going to focus on Hyper Theory, and, um, now the thing is, is that for me to be able to relate to this, I'm going to have to bring up something else. Now, now I'm going off the topic, but this is my dog, by the way. He just decided to come into the room, and I, I felt like that I wanted to show him real quickly, so, yeah, back to the video. So I think if anything, one thing which I can relate to with saying is that uh, Jack said the guy. The reason I want to bring this up is because he's actually been through what kind of happened with Linkin Park said. And not what was Linkin Park said, but he had thoughts about what Linkin Park said. Not specifically on Linkin Park, but what he generally had in his mind, which was the thoughts of failure. Because in 2017, Jack said the guy felt like he wanted to kill himself because he felt like he was not good enough. He felt like he wasn't happy. He felt like that he was going to fail if he had quit YouTube and all this kind of stuff. Then I had like this moment where I was just like, man, would it be better off if I wasn't here? Would I be better off if I just killed myself? But for me, it was just a lot of self-worth issues and a lot of like confidence and self-value and just feeling like the biggest piece of shit ever that I fail at everything I'm doing. I'm not happy with where I am in life. I have no motivation to get out of this or go any further. I don't know what to do with my channel, how to fix it. Should I quit? Should I leave? Does that make me a bigger failure? Um, I'm going to head back to myself now. I feel like if anything, there's a part of me which um, this is bringing up the YouTube thing um, as well, which I, I, I've been doing YouTube for five years. And I feel like that, if anything, I'm not, um, I feel like that for me, YouTube is a thing which I've been doing for so long and I really want to push myself out there. I just have that thought about failing after so long and I don't want to fail or leaving YouTube and then becoming probably a more of a failure because I didn't focus on, on my YouTube channel. And, and I hate the idea of that because I don't want to seem like I did this YouTube channel for so long and then just gave up because I I just don't want to seem like I gave up because I just felt like I was finally at that point where I didn't want to do it anymore. I want to do YouTube and I don't want to have that idea of failure lingering and then having to basically ruin it um, by having to leave or some stuff I like some stuff that I don't want to do some stuff I want to do and then not and then end up leaving and failing there's some things where I don't want to leave something there's some things where I think if anything if I were to stop myself and not do it enough or not be good enough then I could fail at it and the thing is, is that failure is something that I don't want to 
I wouldn't want to see because I just don't like the idea of having to fail at something even if I've done for a very, very long time. And it just, it's hard because I, all of us don't like to see failure. And for me, I want to be able to do something and know that I succeeded at that one thing instead of having to know that I failed at it. I'm sorry if this turned into a bit more of a serious video than I expected it to. I, I had this video idea in my head and I felt like it was one of those videos that I wanted to do, but I wasn't really sure how to do it right. And I'm sorry, this got really dark and probably serious. So um, my conclusion on this video is, is that don't let the past and the future burden you down. It's it's better if you let yourself know that you can do it, you can succeed and stuff like that. I want to know that I can succeed. I want to say that this video got way too dark and way too serious. So I have to say thank you guys for watching this video. I'm I I am going to be back with more of a lightened video hopefully. Comment, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in this next video. Bye. That ass up.